If you're looking into upping your coffee game at home with a better coffee maker, you might have come across the Oxa Brew machines. In this video, I review the Oxa Brew 9 cup coffee maker, go over the pros and cons, compare it to the Chemex, and share with you if we feel like this is something worth investing in. If you enjoy videos about minimalism, purposeful living, and reviews of quality home products, please consider subscribing to this channel. We've been brewing our morning coffee with the Chemex for over 5 years now and while we love the routine and especially the flavor of our coffee, with a toddler and a newborn at home, we were looking into a machine that could help us make our morning coffee routine easier but without compromising the taste. At $200, this machine is definitely pricier than what most people would spend on a coffee machine, especially compared to a $40 Chemex like ours, but with so many great reviews online, we decided to give it a try. If you are looking into getting one, I would suggest getting it at a store like Kohl's that offers email coupons all the time and you can get it for 20 to 30% off like we did. You will need coffee filters with this machine, but other than that, this is a pretty simple and minimalist coffee maker. Our first impression and a big pro is that this is built really high quality with great looking materials, but it does take a lot of space on your counter and it is bigger than we expected, so make sure you look at the dimensions. Other than some free filters, a coffee scoop, and the instruction manual, there's nothing else inside the box, so you can expect a pretty quick and easy setup. Simply place the machine on your counter, making sure the cord goes through the hole in the back and take all of the removable pieces off. Here's my biggest advice before using this machine. Wash everything as much as you can. Some of the loose items are dishwasher safe, so run them in there a couple of times if possible. The reason I say that is because the new plastic smells really strong when it first heats up and our first week with it, I kept tasting the plastic and it was really ruining the taste of the coffee. Also, fill the water tank to the max line and run the machine without any coffee a few times so you can clean everything out on the inside as well. There's only one button on this coffee maker and you can click once to turn on, then turn left or right depending on the number of cups you're making and you click once more to start brewing. You do have the option of setting it up for automatic brewing as well. Another pro is how fast this machine works. The video sped up, but a full tank was done in about 6 minutes. It starts by blooming your grounds, which is something we do with our Chemex, so we love that. And once it's done, the screen will start counting for you the minutes since it finished brewing so you can keep track of the freshness. This screen will show up for up to 1 hour, then go away. A con for us at first was at how hard it was to get the water to coffee grounds ratio correctly. The manual recommends one full scoop per cup, but that was extremely strong for our taste, so we wasted a few bags of coffee and had unpleasant morning coffee for the first 2-4 to four weeks before we finally got it right. We also noticed a weird clicking noise every time our coffee is brewing, but I have no idea what is causing that. I also wish the machine made a beeping noise to let you know when the coffee was ready because sometimes I forget about it but that's just a small detail that might not be important for everyone. To give you an idea, filling up the tank to the 2 cup line will fill up exactly one of our 11 ounce small cups which is convenient if you're just making a quick cup of coffee. This carafe, while being great at keeping our coffee warm for a long time compared to our Chemex, does present some challenges with how weird the coffee comes out. And I'm pretty sure it has made us spill coffee on our counter every single time because it splashes. So is this a machine of our dreams and we're ready to say goodbye to the Chemex? Now that we got through the awkward beginning stage and we like our coffee taste, I honestly still feel like the flavor is no match for the smooth cup you get with the Chemex. As you can see, we find more cons than pros with it and it seems to be more work with the constant cleaning of the small parts. And if you forget to set it up the night before, it takes us just as much time and even more work than it would to do the Chemex. So unfortunately for us was not a good match and it's most likely going back to the store. If you have this machine at home, please leave us a comment and let us know what your experience has been like. Maybe you love it and have some suggestions for us so we would love to hear them. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.